friends welcome to civil engineering exam today we going to see the mcq of airport engineering in the topic of runway design so the first question runway is usually oriented in the direction of option a prevailing winds option b opposite to wind direction option c against wind direction option d none of the above so the correct answer is option a prevailing winds direction so next question which factor is not considered for orientation of runway option a wind direction option b location of neighboring airport option c topography option d none so the correct answer is option d none so next question normal component of wind direction is called option a perpendicular to wind component option b cross wind component option c light wind component option d parallel wind component so the correct answer is option b cross wind component so next question percentage of time in a year during which cross winds component remains within limit is called option a wind duration option b wind time option c wind correction option d wind coverage so the correct answer is option d wind coverage so next question calm period during which wind velocity remain below dash kilometer per hour option a 6.2 option b 6.4 option c 6.0 option d 6.6 so the correct answer is option b 6.4 so next question calm period equal to 100 minus option a total wind coverage option b total wind duration option c total wind velocity option d none so the correct answer is option a total wind coverage so next question windows diagram represent dash comma dash and dash of wind option a direction duration and intensity option b data duration and intensity option c direction duration and intensity option d none so the correct answer is option c direction duration and intensity so next question windows diagram helps to determine suitable dash and dash option a orientation option b proposed capacity option c only a option d both a and b so the correct answer is option d both a and b so next question standard temperature at the airport is dash degree celsius option a 13 option b 16 option c 11 option d 15 so the correct answer is option d 15 so next question normal landing case aircraft should come to the stop within option a 50 percentage of landing distance option b 60 percentage of landing distance option c 70 percentage of landing distance option d 40 percentage of landing distance so the correct answer is option b 60 percentage of landing distance so next question icao recommends basic runway length increased at the rate of dash rise in the elevation above msl that is mean sea level option a six percentage per 300 meter option b seven percentage per 200 meter option c eight percentage per 250 meter option d seven percentage per 300 meter so the correct answer is option d seven percent per 300 meter so next question airport reference temperature ta plus tm minus ta divided by 3 where ta indicate option a monthly mean of average daily temperature for the hottest month of the year option b monthly mean of average daily temperature option c early mean of average daily temperature for the hottest month of the year option d none so the correct answer is option a monthly mean of average daily temperature for the hottest month of the year so next question FAA recommends that runway length after having been corrected for elevation and temperature should be further increased at the rate of dash effective gradient option a 20 percentage for every two percentage option b 10 percentage for every one percentage option c 20 percentage for every one percentage option d none of the above so the correct answer is option c 20 percentage for every one percentage so next question effective gradient is defined 
option a maximum difference in elevation between the highest and the lowest points of the runway divided by the total length of runway option b minimum difference in the elevation between the highest and the lowest point of the runway divided by the total length of the runway option c maximum difference in the elevation between the highest and the lowest point of the runway option d none of the above so the correct answer is option e maximum difference in the elevation between the highest and the lowest point of the runway divided by the total length of the runway so next question which are the element of runway option a structural payment option b runway and safety area option c clear way option d all the above so the correct answer is option d all the above so next question the mean of the maximum daily temperature equal to 50 the mean of the average daily temperature equal to 40 airport reference temperature is option a 40 degrees celsius option b 43.33 degrees celsius option c 45 degrees celsius option d none of the above so the correct answer is option b 43.33 degrees celsius so next question if the monthly mean of the average daily temperature for the hottest month of the year is 25 degrees celsius and the monthly mean of the maximum daily temperature of the same month of the year is 46 degrees celsius so the airport reference temperature is option a 32 degrees celsius option b 35.5 degrees celsius option c 48 degrees celsius option d 25 degrees celsius so the correct answer is option A 32 degrees Celsius. So next question as per ICAO recommendation the cross wind component shall not greater than dash kilometer per hour for big aircraft. Option A 25, option B 35, option C 45, option D 15. So the correct answer is option B 35. So next question percentage of time in a year during which cross wind component cwc remains within the limit is called option a wind coverage option b wind component option c wind cone option d none of the above so the correct answer is option a wind coverage so next question the period for which the wind velocity remains below dash kilometer per hour option a 6.4 option b 4.6 option c 6.54 option d 5.64 so the correct answer is option A 6.4. So next question, the time period in which the wind velocity remains below 6.4 km per hour and the airport site is known as option A wind obstruction, option B calamity period, option C calm period, option D wind coverage. So the correct answer is option C calm period. So next question, the wind data of its direction duration and intensity are graphically represented by a diagram called as dash diagram that is uh, option a rose wind diagram option b calm period option c wind coverage option d wind rose so the correct answer is option d wind rose diagram so next question the orientation of runway strip can be fixed with the help of option a wind coverage option b wind rose diagram option c calm period option d wind cone so the correct answer is option b wind rose diagram so next question type 1 wind rose diagram represent dash of wind option a direction duration option b direction duration and intensity option c intensity and direction option d duration and intensity so the correct answer is option a direction and duration so next question type 2 wind rose diagram represent dash of wind option a direction and intensity option b duration and intensity option c direction duration and intensity option d direction and duration so the correct answer is option c direction duration and intensity so next question aircraft should come to a stop within 60 percentage of landing distance at the same time it cross the threshold of the height of 15 meter is known as option a normal landing case option b engine failure case option c normal takeoff case option d none of the above so the correct answer is option a normal landing case so next question 115 percentage of actual distance the aircraft uses to reach the height of 10.5 meter requires a clear way with not less than 150 meter is known as option a engine failure case option b normal takeoff case 
option C normal landing case option D none of the above so the correct answer is option B normal takeoff case so next question require either clear way or stop way or both is known as option A normal takeoff case option B normal landing case option C engine failure case option D none of the above so the correct answer is option C engine failure case so next question the basic runway length as suggested by aircraft manufacturer is for dash level option a reduced level option b mean sea level option c lower level option d higher level so the correct answer is option b mean sea level so next question icao recommends basic runway length increased at the rate of dash percentage per 300 meter rise in the elevation above mean sea level option a 7 option b 10 option c 17 option d 0 0.7 so the correct answer is option a 7 so next question icao recommend basic runway length increases at the rate of 7 percentage dash meter rises in the elevation above msl option a 130 option b 300 option c 30 option d 1300 so the correct answer is option b 300 so next question for each thousand meter increases in the elevation of airstrip the temperature decreases by dash from the standard temperature option a 9.5 degree celsius option b 6.6 .6 degree celsius option c 6.5 degree celsius option d 5.6 degree celsius so the correct answer is option c 6.5 degree celsius so next question airport reference temperature equal to ta equal to average daily temperature tm equal to monthly mean of maximum temperature so that equal to ta plus tm minus ta divided by 3 equal to tm plus tm minus ta divided by 3 option c equal to ta plus tm minus ta divided by 2 option d equal to ta plus ta minus tm divided by 3 so the correct answer is option A equal to TA plus TM minus TA divided by 3. So next question, as per ICAO, the summation of elevation and temperature correction shall not greater than dash percentage of basic runway length. Option A 25, option B 35, option C 55, option D 45. So the correct answer is option B 35. So next question, ICAO does not recommend the runway length corrections for option A temperature, option B elevation, option C gradient, option D none of the above. So the correct answer is option C gradient. So next question, FAA recommends the runway length corrections for option A gradient, option B temperature, option C elevation, option D none of the above. So the correct answer is option A gradient. So next question, as per ICAO recommendation, minimum width of the runway end safety area for instrumental runway should be option A 150, option B 300, option C 250, option D 500. So the correct answer is option B 300. Again we will see in next video. Thank you.